is not time in the world, but even so, it's a great time to take up cycling. You never know, you might get addicted and it could change your life. There is a lot to think about when you're first taking up cycling and heading out for your first few rides. Well, I'm here to help with that. Here's everything you need to know when first getting into cycling and some tips I wish I knew when I first started riding. For this video, I'm gonna use my one hour of daily exercise here in Wales to show you what to do on a short local ride if you're just starting out. On your first few rides, it might be a good idea to plan out your route so you know you're not gonna be out for hours on end. Keep it short and enjoyable. 10 or 15 miles will do nicely. Why not even plan a cafe stop halfway through your ride? to give yourself a little respite and a morale boost with some coffee and cake. That's my favorite part. If you can't plan a cafe stop on your ride, why not make your own and take some snacks in your back pocket? When you start to ramp up the hours in the saddle, it'll become more and more important to keep fueled and eat on your rides. Always make sure you keep hydrated when you're out riding by taking fluids on boards. Now, you don't need to worry about carrying the bottle because most bikes will have bottle cages that you can put the bottle in. You can download various different apps to help plan, track and even record your rides. Then, in a few months, you can look back at these and see just how far you've come. These are really great to help provide motivation, set goals and if you're into your stats, these are really great. When you're new to bikes, all the gears can be very confusing. I'll be honest, on my first ever road ride, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what gear to be in or even how to change the gears. But trust me, the gears are there to help you. If you live somewhere hilly like I do, you're going to need them. On flat roads, you could be in your big ring at the front and in the little cogs on the cassette in the back. But then if you want to go up a hill and it gets a bit steep, you want to drop down to the little ring at the front and then up to the big cogs on the cassette in the back. But the best way to get to grips with the gears is to just go out and practice being in lots of different gears. Learn how to fix a puncture. You don't want to go out on your ride and get a puncture in the middle of nowhere and have to have someone come and pick you up. The easiest way is to take a spare inner tube with you so you can just change it and you don't have to worry about fixing the old one. You can worry about that when you get home. It will be handy to learn some basic maintenance too before you head out on your bike. We've got tons of maintenance videos on the channel and on GCN Tech too, so make sure you check them out. It's a good idea to have a little basic novelty tool and a small pump to take on your rides in case something works loose or you need to change your saddle height. You don't need to worry about carrying these because you can get a small little saddle bag that will attach to the rear of your saddle to put all your basics in. Make sure to pump your tyres up before your ride. You do not want to go out with flat tyres because it will be hard work and very unmotivating, trust me. Your tyres will have a recommended tyre pressure on the side of the tyre wall, so make sure you check that and get it pumped up. This brings me on to saddle position. You need to set your saddle height right for you. This is really easy and it'll take two minutes. So put your foot at six o'clock and you should have a nice slight bend in your knee. You don't want to have your leg locked out but likewise you don't want too much of a bend either because you won't be working the right muscles and you will get very tired very quickly. Now we're nearly ready to go out on our ride but there's just a few more little things. Always wear a helmet. It's better to be safe than sorry. You might not think you need one because you're not going very far or very fast, but trust me, some of my worst crashes have been when I've been riding really slowly, so I would definitely recommend wearing a helmet. You don't need any fancy cycling kit or lycra to ride a bike, but a pair of cycling shorts will make riding a lot more comfortable for you. You want to avoid any discomfort by having a sore bottom and a pair of cycling shorts will help with that. Oh, and uh, one more thing, you don't need to wear any underwear when you wear cycling shorts. 
When you're going out for your first few rides, try and keep a nice relaxed upper body. Don't grip the handlebars too tightly. Also try and look where you want to go. Don't stare at the wheel right in front of you. This is something I have to tell myself even to this day and it really does help when you're going around corners and descending. On your first few rides, try and keep it short and sweet. Don't overdo it and be out for hours and end up running out of energy and hating it. And maybe choose a flat route, unlike I've done here. <laughs> and try and pick some nice quiet roads so you don't have to worry too much about traffic because there is a lot to think about on your first few rides. Everyone was new to cycling at some point and we're always gonna make mistakes. Just go out there, have fun, abide your local rules and regulations, and don't forget to wave to other cyclists and chat to the locals. Go out there and have fun. Hope you enjoyed this video and let us know how you got on on your first ride and if you have any questions or tips you want to share with us. Don't forget to download the GCN app. There's loads of helpful information on there to help you learn more about this wonderful world of cycling. Oh, oh camera angle, not good. <laughs> okay, let's reset. Oh, brakes. 